Mert Strapper here with John Wesley Ship. Now, John, are you the dad of Comic Con? <laughs> Am I the dad of Comic Con? I don't know about that. I certainly have played my my share of dads, from psychopathic Teen Wolf dad to really good dad Mitch Leary to supportive father Henry Allen. But uh, you know, I would I wouldn't go so far as to say I'm the dad of Comic Con. I think that I think that might might be uh, Shatner. <laughs> That's might, true. That is that is a good point. That is a good. And then Stan Lee is probably the grandfather. Stan Lee is yes. the grand. Yes. Yes. All right. Now let me ask you this. You know, I think I think most people are here to talk to you about the Flash, but I got to tell you, I was a huge Dawson's Creek fan. Um, so how pivotal was that role in your career? Because when I saw you, I'm like, oh my gosh, it's Dawson's dad. Well, it was it was uh, I had played a father in Never Ending Story two, of course in uh, 1989, but mostly it wasn't, that was the beginning of my dad role phase, you know? And what was pivotal is that people maybe don't remember, they're rediscovering that when Dawson's Creek came out, there was nothing on television like it. Exactly. I mean, finally a show that was writing up to a young audience instead of down to a young audience. And, uh, and it, was, uh, it was an exciting project to be a part of, also because we had these young, beyond talented actors and we were all in Wilmington, North Carolina away from the bright lights of Hollywood and they were gestating, you know, they were, you know, getting, you know, becoming these overnight sensations in sort of this protected community where we could sort of operate like a creative family. And uh, yeah, that, that was uh, really something. Is there, is there a pressure on you when you land a role like Mitch, you know, to sort of like follow it up with something just as good, you know? And you did, like you've had so much success after that. But is there a pressure when you're like, I don't just want to be Mitch? I've been lucky since the beginning of my career. The very first, well, the first thing I did was Showtime's first original movie, The Dirtiest Show in Town. I followed that up with good guy Kelly Nelson on Guiding Light. I won my first Emmy following that up with a completely psychotic individual opposite Julianne Moore yes. on As the World Turns. I followed that up by being a woman abusing tennis player who gets thrown by A. Martinez through a plate glass window and can never play tennis again. And then I went to superhero. Right after that I was drug addicted cop on NYPD Blue, you know. Then I was good dad, Mitch Leary. Then I was psychotic dad, Mr. Leahy on oh Teen Wolf. Oh, you're killing so, me. <laughs> so, you know, it's, it's, I, I tell people I play superheroes and psychopaths. <laughs> I, I love it, I love it. Now, I can't let you go without asking you about The Flash. What has it been like? It's been a really uh, warm and full experience. First of all, Henry Allen, as reimagined by Jeff Johns and Greg Berlanti and Andrew Kreisberg, the whole group, um, was such a different. I would have wanted to play that role even if I had never played, been in the flat involved in it. Exactly. It was such a layered, textured, and it was such a special relationship. Having played Barry Allen, it was the perfect sort of uh, template in which to hand off without going, okay, I'm a superhero. Like a father son blessing. Exactly. To hand the project off to the next generation. And last question, you're here at Toronto Comic Con. What are you the most excited about? You can say being interviewed by Mertz. That's probably my most favorite answer. Uh, being interviewed by Mertz, I'd, I, I'd have to say. I, it's know. not like I told him to say that. No, 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 <laughs> completely unprompted. I love it, John. Thank you so much. Thank you.